Hello everyone. Today we're going to um, show you on how to to calibrate the Blue Lab conductivity pen and also the Blue Lab pH pen. So both of these pens I'm going to calibrate and show you how I do it. This in generally works as well with all other pH pens or conductivity pens that use a solution that you need to calibrate your um, setting in. So these ones are digitalized so you can calibrate them using a bottom so as soon as you get the correct measurement you can calibrate them other ones need tweaking with uh, a small screw that you need to screw to get the right setting in the back so let's start to it let's first start with our ph pen if you have a ph pen you can put it on and at the top you see there's like a ph sending there let me see if it yep there we focused so what that means is that it ph this is a ph pen this is your temperature you can either set it in uh, Fahrenheit, if I hold that one second. So you can set that in Fahrenheit or you can set it in Celsius. So both ways, I'm working with Celsius, so that's why I keep it like that. And there we go. So um, as long as there, if there's no like check mark next to the pH, then you know that your, that your pen needs recalibration, just to be 100% sure. You need to check mark then you know that it's calibrated so first off before we do that we will have to clean the probe there's a probe in there never touch it with your fingers never touch it with um, a paper towel or whatever they supply you with um, like this thing it has a very soft fabric on top of it which is usually used by uh, people that use it for cleaning their I say it's like cleaning their glasses so that's what it's used for um, and they also give you like this toothbrush with the toothbrush having very fine hair it's almost like a makeup stick like i don't know how you call it but what the girls used to use to do makeup that's what uh, it feels like it's almost that soft so let's start with that um first of all we're going to take like a piece of water doesn't matter this can be tap water it doesn't matter whatsoever um, if you buy the Blue Lab starter kit, what you get inside is you get this Pro Cleaner for the conductivity. You get a Pro Cleaner for the pH, like this one. Then you get your storage solution, like this. And you get some sa uh, like satchels of this, either with the uh, EC uh, calibration or with the pH. I already ran out of my pH. This is the only one I have left. And that's why I bought these bigger bottles. So you can buy them either in these, uh, I think this is 250 milliliter, yeah, 250 milliliter bottles, or you can buy them in the bigger bottles, and that's 500 milliliters. And you can see here, I have both of them because I tend to uh, calibrate my uh, meters quite a lot. So let's get to it. I have my glass of like tap water or distilled water. Doesn't really matter that much because we only will use it to clean. In there, we're going to put a little bit of the pH Pro Cleaner. That's uh, like some sort of very gentle soap. You put a few drops in there. There we go. And then you take your um, the brush, like the toothbrush, mix it up really well, so it's completely dissolved into the water. And then you're going to start like cleaning the probe inside. Make sure you get all the corners all around the glass. Make sure you don't hit it with the hard part of your uh, toothbrush and just clean it inside. Once you've done that, you take the, the one with, um, with the milder fabric, also dump it in the water with the solution in it, with the cleaning solution. And then you start wiping all around the probe. See if I can focus on this. Yep, there we go. So you wipe all around the probe. Also getting the probe. Be gentle with while doing this. There's no rush. Take your time. If you damage this thing, you can basically throw away your uh, expensive uh, pH meter. So do it very gentle. You will see that it becomes clear because it was a little bit brown from the solution that you put it in always. And do the same thing with this uh, metal looking thing. There we go. It's probably the temperature meter. So 
Then I clean all the sides, insides. Let me focus again. It doesn't autofocus. There we go. Then I clean the inside as well. There we go. And then last, I put it in the solution and I give it a swirl. Let that really soak in on the, on the sensor. Make sure you, you don't tap your uh, like your meter against the glass too much. There we go. Then I have some very clean water as well here. This is RO water, but this can also be some distilled water or some tap water. Just rinse off the cleaning that you just did. There we go. And now our pen is nice and clean. So now we can start by doing the calibration. So let me wipe that off. Let me put this to the side. There we go. Let me put this on the side as well. So now that our meter is clean, we can start with uh, getting the calibration ready. So in the in the set, you also get like these cups. They don't come with the label. I just put them my own myself just to know that I always use the same buckets for the same pH. So in this one, we put some pH 4.0 and this one, we put some pH 7.0. Let me take them. I have the 4.0 here. You don't need to fill them all the way up. Just fill like, just enough so you can put in the probe completely, like something like that, more than enough. Always close your bottles, don't contaminate them. Never put fluid that you put out of the bottle, Put it. never put it back in that because you will ruin the entire solution. Also gonna take the pH seven. Like so, there we go. Close the bottle and done. So we have our pH 4.0 and we have our pH 7.0. To start, you put the meter on, then you put it first in the 7.0. Start with 7.0, put it in there, hold the calibration button, and then it will start calibrating. You need to wait until all this, there's four zeros popping up and they're done. That's when you know that it started, it's pH at 7.0. So now it's calibrated for 7.0. We wait, as you can see, now it shows 7.0 for this solution. What you do next is you take it out of the solution, rinse it off in some clean water, rinse it very good so you don't have contaminants going into your other uh, solution. Wipe it clean, there we go. Put that to the side. And next up, we're going to put it in our 4.0 solution. We wait until it reaches 4.0. And when it does, we will push the uh, calibrate button again. It's very important you start with seven and then go to four because otherwise you will um, calibrate your pen wrong. This could take some time before it reaches 4.0. So give it some time to do that. I usually give it some between 30 seconds and one minute because then I know the, um, the reading will be correct. Let's say that it measured out here at 4.1, for example, or at 3.9 or 3.8. That's no problem. If that happens, as you can see here, it went to 3.0, uh, 3.9, I mean, that's no problem. Let it work. It will eventually get to close to 4.0. And if it doesn't, it's also not a problem. That's why we're calibrating our pen. It means that our pen is slightly off, which you can see here definitely in the result. That's why the check mark is gone. So it's not changing anymore. So now we can push the calibrate button again until it says cal. And then we let it go and it starts calibrating for 4.0. This will also take four zeros and then we know that it's calibrated for 4.0. And then it will go back to your reading showing 4.0. Now it's calibrated and now it will show you 4.0 on the on the screen. See? So now our pen is calibrated and we can see that because let me rinse that off real quick. 
I rinsed it off. So now we can also see that because there's also a check mark now next to the pH. This means our pen has been calibrated. And it, it will stay like that between three to four weeks depending on how many times you use it. But usually this is the indicator showing that either your pen is calibrated or not. So to double check, because we're going to throw this away anyway, put it in the 7.0, wait until it reads seven, it should read 7.0 now. Let me highlight the display so you can see that a little bit better. Could take some time before it reaches 7.0. And it also could be that it's not going to go to 7.0 because we contaminated, um, we already contaminated this solution with some pH down here. This is basically a pH, a lower pH. So it could be that we already contaminated that going to give it a few more seconds just to see if it goes to 7.0 but I highly doubt that it's going to happen nope it's probably because we already contaminated it with the 4.0 that's why you never reuse calibration solution let me rinse that off there we go let's see what it does in the 4.0 So it was reading 0.12 low in the 7.0, and it's reading exactly for the 4.0 in the 4. So that means we calibrated it correctly, and probably I didn't, like, I didn't, uh, how you say, when I washed it, I didn't throw away the water inside the pen, and that's why I probably contaminated the solution. But okay, we now have a calibrated pH pen. Let me rinse my pen off. Then a very, very, very important thing to do is whenever you use your pen, always rinse it with some clean water. Never put it back like this, ever. Never put it to the side and leave it like that. It comes with a cap. And in this cap, you can put some pH probe storage solution. That's also delivered in the starting package from Blue Lab. So this pH, uh, this pH storage uh, solution, what you basically do is inside of your cap, there's a small sponge, small, very small sponge in there. And I'm going to put a few droplets of that inside that sponge just to make sure that it's moist. It doesn't need to be a lot, a few droplets. This will last you a long time. There we go. Now it's moist inside. We take our pen, put it in there. And now you can put it away. Now it's stored in the correct way without like, if the, if the tip of the blue, of the pH pen gets, um, how you say that? If it gets um, dry, then it will start giving bad readings. So that's why you always need to keep it in the storage solution. Do not put it in RO water or whatever, because then you will also damage the credibility of your probe. Always use the storage solution to keep your probes in the correct condition. Okay, so we finished our pH pen. Now we're going to do our EC pen. Keep in mind, throw these away. Do not put them back in the bottle. Do not store them, throw it away. Then I have my EC pen. With the EC pen, we're going to do the exact same thing. Although I need to re-clean my water because I use the pH probe cleaner in this one. So let me reset that test for a second. I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back. I uh, put some clean, I took some clean water. We're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the pH pen. We're gonna take our toothbrush. We're going to take our, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the very soft fabric. Then we have our probe cleaner, but this time we're going to use it for the conductivity probe cleaner, so. Let me put a few drops inside there as well. This is a lot thicker than the other one. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's like chunks, but it doesn't matter. That's why you, that's why you um, stir it with this. Make sure that it fully dissolves into the water. There we go. 
Then you do the exact same thing. Just clean it on the inside. This one, it doesn't really matter because you cannot damage anything inside, so you can be a little more rough. There we go. Then we take the other one, the fabric with the nice fabric. Do the same thing. Wipe around the edges, make everything clean. There we go. And last but not least, I'm going to stir it in the solution just to make sure that we get really clean. Very sorry guys, something happened with my camera, off camera, I probably, I did, I, what I did is I put this Blue Lab uh, 2.77 EC connectivity package, which comes in your starter kit, I put it in my uh, small container over here, that's all I did, and then my video stopped for whatever reason, so next up you take your EC pen, and you put it in there, and see if it reads 2.7, let me highlight or illuminate the display. So yeah, it's showing 2.7. Let's give it a little bit of time to just make sure that it's still reading 2.7 after a couple of seconds, because usually it takes around 30 seconds for the correct reading to be 100% sure. Unlike the pH with the uh, EC pen, you only have one um, calibration solution. You only have the 2.7. With, uh, with the pH, you have, of course, the 4.0 and the 7.0. But uh, it seems to hold pretty well, so we're pretty sure that this is a correct reading. What you do next is you just press the calibration button again, keep holding it down until it says cal, then let go, and then it will start calibrating your EC pen. So it should be calibrated now because we have the check marker well again. The weird thing is that it's showing me 2.8 though. But that's probably because it's closer to 2.77 than 2.8. So that's why it's going between the 2.8 and the 2.7. Because we calibrated for 2.77 but that's higher. It doesn't have the 2.77, it, it only has two digits. So that's why it's closer to the 2.8 and that's why it's showing that result. But again, we see the check mark and that's why we know our, our pen is calibrated. So whenever you see this check mark disappear, you have to recalibrate your, your meters. It's very important because uncalibrated meters are usually the problem of a lot of deficiencies and toxicities within your garden. So again, do not store this solution, throw it away. Make sure you clean out these containers pretty well. And the same with your pen, just clean it out. This is some RO water that I have in there. I don't know if you can see through. No, I can't, but I will hold you, I will hold the pen out so you can see what it says. Because if you hold it again, then it says hold, and then it shows you the reading that you want to hold. I'm reading an EC, but this pen has the capability, if you click on the units and hold it down, and then you can click on units again. You can check either PPM 500. Let me see if I can show it like this. Either you can show PPM 500 or you can show, wait, I waited too long, I'm sorry. So I'll hold the units button, press either PPM 500, PPM 700 or the EC. Uh, or the EC. And then you have the, the possibility to take Fahrenheit or Celsius. So there we go. I'm using EC and I'm using Celsius, so that's how my pen looks like. So both of these pens are now calibrated. This one doesn't come with a pack, with a cap because you don't need to put it in the storage solution because the probes just measure the elect electric conductivity between those two points. There's nothing like external. And this uh, iron or this metallic looking tip is again our temperature meter. So that's how you calibrate your Blue Lab pH pen and your blue lab uh, conductivity pen, otherwise known as your PPM pen. So yeah, 
If there's anything you need to know, let me know in the comments below. I also have a, a, a series where I use these pins while mixing my nutrients, while using, uh, um, well, while growing my own garden. So you can see that in uh, the top right here. I will link it to my series. I also have a lot of other tutorials there. So check them out. If you like this video, consider to give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye.